All this month, we are helping you prepare for back to school. Knox County Schools released its reopening plan this week. It includes a virtual and in person learning option. Parents and students have until next Wednesday to decide which they'll choose for the entire semester. Now the plan also outlines how the district will respond if a student, teacher or staff member gets sick. I sat down with Knox County School Superintendent Bob Thomas earlier today about what to expect in the classroom and online this fall. And what the safety precautions that we put into place, uh, obviously uh, we're, uh, we want parents to check uh, their students before they send them off to school, check, please check their temperature. If they have a temperature of 100.4 above, then you know don't send them to school or if they're experiencing COVID-like symptoms, don't send them to school. And we're asking our employees to also do the same thing, self-check before you come to school. But once uh, once you get to school, we're going to have temperature checks for our students and uh, and our employees too. So if someone has a, a temperature that uh, above the 100.4, then we would isolate. If it's a student, we uh, make arrangements with the parent to come back and pick up the child, or uh, and, and we'll work with parents in that way. Uh, if it's an employee, the temperature, then they would need to return home um, and not come back until they were temperature free without using drugs to get there so uh, that uh, we will make sure they don't return with a, with a high temperature. But uh, so oh, I'm in school, my temperature is okay, what next? Well, wear a mask, uh, uh, we are gonna require masks. That was something that uh, when we met with our principals and I met with teachers that uh, pretty adamant about that. And I, I understand, you know, it's not, it, 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 we're trying to protect each other so uh, we're going to require masks. Now, if it's a situation where physical distancing uh, can be um, maintained, then the, the, the mask in that, in that particular situation wouldn't be required. But we know we have a lot of classrooms and a lot of schools with hallways that, you know, that don't permit physical distancing. So, so, so wear the mask. We're also putting hand sanitizer uh, in our classroom. We want our, our students and staff, teachers to practice hand washing. Uh, yes, we've got uh, uh, in a, actually in our uh, reopening guide, we, we, we have an example of what a high school day may look like. You know, elementary might look a little bit different because kindergarten uh, was a half a day, I think. Uh, I'm not looking at the, at the opening plan right now, but elementary is a little bit uh, less time than the high school time. But, but uh, what the state has said is six and a half hours of, of instruction. So uh, there'll be a mix there. It's not, I don't think it's quite like sitting in front of a computer for six and a half hours straight doing nothing else. Uh, but but uh, um, we're, we're in the process. We'll, we'll give parents a little bit better idea of what that might look like from an elementary standpoint, but uh, uh, trying to meet the state guideline of the six and a half hours uh, there. But it'll be, uh, it'll, it'll be real time um, there. Now, there'll be some courses that might be uh, asynchronous, like uh, uh, that they were recorded, not necessarily for elementary, but, uh, but for secondary. Uh, could be some situations where uh, those courses, uh, they're, they're going to be uh, real time, but then there also could be some courses that might be asynchronous uh, where people can log in at a, at a different time. 